I'm going to leave this door part way open just to get more air in there. I've been using this stove kind of as a trash can for paper for the last couple of days. It hasn't been cold enough to um, start a fire, but today it is cold enough. Well, part of it's the dampness, but it's chilly. And so we'll get that going, get some coffee happening here in a minute, and then get after breakfast. Breakfast didn't turn out as pretty as I had hoped, but the potatoes are very good and the egg scramble, I'll call it. This is lake water. It's not as hot as out of the kettle. So we've got to cool that down just a little bit. Well, it's been a pretty glorious couple weeks up here. Um, we could stay a little bit longer, but the problem that I have is it's going to start raining here in the next few hours. And it's supposed to rain for several days to come. So I can either stay and fish in the rain, which is fine, um, and take this tent and this whole camp down in the rain. And then I'd have to lift the heavy canvas by myself because it's going to be wet. It's heavy enough when it's not wet. And then dry it out, which is just a pain. Um, I'll still dry it out a little bit. But um, I think that we're going to call it a year up here on this river. Um, We'll probably hit some other rivers, but we're going to take fish camp down today, which saddens me a lot. Um, and so with that, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, before we do that, we'll take one last look at what's here. And um, and you'll see I, did, I haven't burned a lot of wood. It was pretty warm until this morning. Um, so we'll take a quick little look at this and then we'll start tearing it down. So we got a couple of camp chairs in here. 
wood stove with an oven, stove pipe going out. Haven't burned a lot of firewood. In fact, I actually added to my pile because I got some later on. I got these bug zappers. I don't know that they work all that great. Some artwork. Table, coffee, bug zapper down there. Um, mosquito netting over um, my bedding. Take a look at this. So this is two. This is a double person sleeping bag, pillows on it, and just two cots that are um, put together there. Um, and so that's the inside. We'll take a quick look at the outside. And if you saw the setup video, then you'll know how this all goes anyways. So this tent is, I have a rain fly over it. It's lashed down to stakes. You saw the frame on the inside. It has a sod cloth on the bottom that keeps the rain from getting up underneath it and helps the rain go off. But with the rain fly, it holds the rain off of it. And I have my chimney kind of lashed down four different ways so that it won't blow over or come off or anything. <clears throat> and so this will be a task to do with one person. Part the, Probably the worst part of it is going to be getting the poles down. And then the second worst part will be folding about myself. But we'll manage. We'll see how it goes. Okay, the first step in taking the stove down is take the stove pipe off, which should be easy. I've untied the four guy wires to hold it up. And so it should be a matter of just lifting it off. And then I got the chimney cap on it. There's the stove pipe. And so this stove pipe is called a nesting stove pipe, which means that it fits inside itself. So we're gonna take it apart and put it inside itself. Because it just takes up a lot of space. And eventually we'll end up putting it in the stove, but I want to empty the ashes out of the stove first. So you can just put it in there. It just lifts right off. And then the legs come off easy enough. Out of that, okay. all the pieces of the stove fit inside. The stove. And then in this door, I have a thermometer, and the thermometer is just threaded on right here. If you left that on there, surely you would end up breaking it in transit. So I take it off and I have a little container I put it in, and then I put it inside the stove so that I always have it and don't lose it. Okay, so I got the tent emptied out. I took this tarp and I pulled it up and emptied everything, you know, tilted it so I could get everything to that end and then swept it out because I'm going to be folding the tent on top of this tarp because I tarp because I don't want to fold it on the ground. Um, I went to a lot of effort to clean this up and patch it if you recall last year. Um, so next I'm going to untie all the ropes that hold it up. I primarily use two knots. Well I only use two knots when I put this together. One of them let's go right here. 
one of the knots is called the bowlin, and the other one is just a half hitch. The half hitch knot right here in this black one feeds through itself here and then back through there and now it's undone. To tie that knot, and I should have showed this in the beginning, to tie that knot, basically you make a loop around the main line and then cinch it down on itself and do it again. And I like to, when I do it again, I like to pull the whole thing this way and then you can just undo it like that and that gets you access to here. And then the other knot, the bowlin, let's look at that one. The bowlin knot. You can undo it there. And the way you tie it, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and undo all of these ropes and put them away. And as I do that, I'll probably pull up the stakes as well, just so I don't, I can keep track of the stakes when I do that. Okay, I've got the rain fly completely untied on both sides. A couple of stakes pulled out along the way. And now I'm going to pull it off to the other side here so it's out of the way and then I can get at the tent. So I have all of the, I got the rain fly off. I got all the ropes taken off of it, except for these that I can't reach until I let it down. I pulled up all the stakes all the way around it. I went and checked to make sure I had all the stakes. So now comes one of the trickiest parts. I'm gonna to try to take this down by myself and it's heavy and there's lots of poles. Um, I don't wanna break a pole or break something. So that's where it's gonna get kind of sketchy. So we'll see how it goes. Oh. And as sure as you would know it, I took the rain fly off and guess what? It started raining. Perfect timing. Well, so far, so good. That's the hardest part. Well, this other one's going to be hard, too, because I'm going to have to crawl up. Actually, I'm going to cheat and do it this way here. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the rain fly back over here and drag this onto the rain fly so that it stays clean.
Well, that was a chore. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the river.